the alphabet of the Yoruba or Igbo language. Do you really need to learn it? I can't believe you just asked that question. Mastering the alphabet of the Igbo or Yoruba language is 100% required for you to nail pronunciation. That's why in this video, I'm going to give you three tricks to accelerate how fast you learn the alphabet of the Yoruba or Igbo language. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Krista and welcome to Hack Nigerian Languages, the channel to find the tips, tricks, and product reviews to help you be successful in mastering the Yoruba or Igbo language. So think about subscribing. Now let's get into it. The first trick to help you master the alphabet of the Yoruba or Igbo language is to focus on the differences. So when you look at the alphabet for the first time, you're bound to see some letters that you definitely do not recognize at all. But there are lots of letters that are the exact same in terms of their pronunciation um, to what we have in the English language. So only focus on the differences. So for example, in the Igbo alphabet, there are 36 letters. Now, a lot of the letters are pronounced pretty much the same as what we have in the English language. Yeah, with the H and R, there are some slight differences, but you really don't need to focus on those until you get really, really advanced with the pronunciation. But for our intents and purposes, these are the letters that are pronounced pretty much the same as in English. So focusing only on the letters that are pronounced differently, we have these, right? We are down to only 17 letters. So from 36 letters down to 17, that cuts it by half. Do not waste your time. Only focus on the letters that are different from what we have in the English language. Now in the Yoruba language, there are 25 letters. Now, these are the letters that are pronounced pretty much the same as what we have in English. Yeah, with the N and the R, there are some slight differences, but you really don't need to focus on those until you get way more advanced. So taking out the letters that are pronounced pretty much the same, we are left with these, only nine letters. So from 25 letters down to nine, it's so much more manageable, so much less stressful to think about. So only focus on those letters that are different from what we have in the English language, really hone in, and you will save so much time. So the second way to learn the alphabet of your or Igbo so much faster is to study similar letters in groups. So you will notice when looking at the alphabet of your or Igbo that there are some letters that look pretty much the same. So you'll notice for your for example, we have C and we have she. You'll notice that in Igbo we have like four different types of ends. Ni, 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 ni. So why not study similar letters on the same flashcard? So when you have a flashcard, for example, that has C and she on it, really force yourself in that moment to pronounce each letter correctly and distinctly. By studying the letters in groups in that way, you are actually accelerating the rate at which you are able to memorize the letters individually. This, by the way, is the memorization technique commonly referred to as chunking or grouping. So far, we have talked about focusing on the letters that are different and studying letters in groups. Now, before we get to the third one, if you have found this video at all helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be posting more weekly videos like this one to help you improve in your Yoruba or Igbo language learning process. The third and probably most fun way to quickly learn the Yoruba or Igbo alphabet is to listen to alphabet songs on repeat all the time, like all the time. So I started exposing my son to the alphabet song in Yoruba early on, um, soon after he was born, and I played it all the time. A, B, D, A, A, B, D, B, E, E, G, G, B, B, N, E. And because I played it all the time, I had no choice but to learn the song. Now, because I had already memorized that song, in addition to the memorization techniques that we already talked about, about how to master the Yoruba or Igbo alphabet, I also had a melody to back up my memory. Especially if the song is catchy, it's really easy to memorize and it's really good to test yourself, right? So play the song and challenge yourself to say the entire alphabet through at the speed at which it is in the video. And that's really gonna help you learn the alphabet a lot faster. And these songs you can find right on YouTube. Some of my favorites are the alphabet song from Yorba for Kids. There's also the one by So Kids TV. For Igbo, there is a ham efula. There's also ITB. It doesn't really matter which one you choose, just find one that is catchy to you. By practicing the alphabet song over and over, you're going to be memorizing the alphabet in a way that is both easy and is more fun. Now, if you have tried to learn the Yoruba or Igbo alphabet before, um, but are having a hard time making it stick, or maybe you've already mastered the alphabet, 
but you don't know how to get to the next level and to move beyond the basics to actually communicating in the language. Be sure to join the free upcoming Hack Nigerian Languages workshop. We're going to be covering the memorization techniques and practice skills to really help you memorize the basics like these, but also how to get to the next level in your Yorba or Igbo. So be sure to sign up. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated on all our weekly videos that are gonna be posted. And we'll see you next time.